Opening an unfamiliar piece of software for the first time can often be a daunting task. With this in mind, we've created a video that gets you up and running with JSON. In this video, we'll show you how to load data into the workspace or canvas and how to navigate data sets on the canvas. When you open JSON, by double clicking on the desktop icon, you're presented with a blank canvas, two panels, the file browser and the object browser, and a minimal set of tools. These include the navigation tools for the canvas in the bottom right-hand corner. And in the top left-hand corner, we have the main menu, the quick save button, the undo redo arrow buttons. We have the display toggle for the file browser and a display toggle for the object browser and a menu of toggle options for some context sensitive panels that open when a data set is loaded. We'll talk more about these context panels in another video. As you can see from the hint in the top left hand corner of the canvas, there are a number of ways to load data into JSON and onto the canvas. First, we can simply drag a file from a Windows directory and drop it into JSON. We can also access a Windows directory from the open option in the main menu. We can use this to navigate to the directory of interest and double click on a file that we want to load. JSON also has a built-in file browser that you can use to navigate to the directory of interest. Again, a data file can be loaded by either dragging and dropping onto the canvas or double clicking as new data is added to the canvas, the canvas expands to accommodate all the new items. When a data set is loaded, new panels also appear. These include the processing panel, the analysis panel, the parameter panel, and the view panel. These panels are context sensitive and contain tools that are pertinent to the object selected on the canvas. As we mentioned before, we'll look at these panels in a different video. Objects on the canvas are also added to the object browser. The current selected active item is designated by the red icon in the top left hand corner on the object browser and on the canvas by the gray circles around the edge of the frame of the object and by the identifier tab. You can change the active item by simply clicking on a new item in the canvas or by clicking on it in the object browser. Items can be moved about the canvas by clicking and dragging on the identifier tag. Double clicking the tag will zoom the canvas in onto that item. You can use the right hand magnifying glass icon in the canvas navigation tools to zoom out so that all items on the canvas are visible. The left hand icon will zoom in on the current active item. Double clicking on an item in the object browser will also zoom in to that item. The slider in the canvas navigation tools allows the user to set an arbitrary zoom level for the canvas. It's important to note at this point that the zoom level refers to the canvas as a whole and not to the zoom level within a particular item. We'll discuss the display processing and analysis of spectra in another video. To finish the video, we'll have a closer look at the file browser. The file browser comprises three tabs. The first is the file tab, which allows the user to navigate their directory system. At the top of this panel, there's a title box that displays the current selected file and three other buttons. The home button 
navigates to a user defined work directory. This is defined in the JSON settings. Here in the work path. The second button, the arrow button, changes the directory by moving it up one level in the current directory tree. And the star button allows the user to add the current directory to their favourites list. The favourites tab contains the list of user-defined directories for easy access to the user's data. And the recent tab contains a list of recently opened files. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. For more information about JSON, please visit our website www.jailjson.com where you can find links to other videos and start your free trial.